The WHO says a summary report of its mission to the Chinese city of Wuhan to jointly study the origins of COVID-19 will likely be released next week. A number of WHO experts have been critical of how the trip has been reported outside China. CGTN's Feng Yilei has spoken to Dr. Hong Yuan Viet, part of the investigation team. He spoke about his expectations for the research and his own experience in Wuhan. Let's look at uh, some of the remarks about the investigation made by uh, some of your peers on the WHO uh, expert panel. For example, epidemiologist Thea Fisher said, uh, I quote, our quotes are intendedly twisted, casting shadows over important scientific work. And your teammate Peter Dazak said he was disappointed to see statements selectively misquoted to fit a narrative that was prescribed before the work began. So what's your take on these statements? I, I would agree with uh, Peter that, you know, uh, the report will be released and people will see the, the full pictures of the study of these 28 days. Um, uh, what I can say is, in fact, you know, for actually before breaking in the group, three group, epidemiology, molecular epidemiology, and animal and human health, uh, animal and the environment, um, we had several plenary meetings between the WHO part and the China uh, part. Um, and, you know, uh, we actually plan uh, uh, some of this uh, visit together uh, before coming. And also, once we are on site, and some of this site uh, was arranged for our visit. You know, we visited the hospital, like you, like you know, the, the market, visiting different institutes uh, involved in research and also treatment of, of COVID-19 in, 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 in China. So, so I would advise that people uh, uh, be patient and look at the report when it's come out. Um, I'm aware of the, some of the quote of different members of, uh, of, of the group, but you see that it's really the own experience of each group, uh, of each member who experienced uh, this respect uh, as a, a feeling and experience during this mission. So what critical data has China provided for this investigation? Yeah, I think that, you know, uh, China provided different type of information uh, and that went to different working groups. I think that you know, the information on the early cases uh, in Wuhan and, and, and Hebei, uh, Hebei province, it is, was an interesting set of information for epidemiology group. All the information from uh, China Center of uh, Information um, on you know, genomic data, I think that is also interesting and important for the uh, a molecular epidemiology group. Uh, so, you know, talk more with this group uh, to understand the significance of, of this data. But in, uh, in our group, for example, um, on the, uh, the information uh, on the market survey, not only in Huanan uh, market, but also in other market, uh, on the information on the uh, virus testing in a large population of livestock, uh, in different provinces of uh, China was also, uh, was also interesting. Uh, we could talk also with a uh, colleague from uh, uh, Hua Chung Agriculture University on the interesting study on CART uh, susceptibility in Wuhan. Um, you see, and, uh, and also it's, it's not about the study alone, uh, the visit, the visit to the Huanan market, the visit to um, uh, different in health institutions like the two key hospitals treating the first cases uh, help us understanding better how it works. Uh, and I have to say that unfortunately, uh, I'm part of the group who didn't go out much because we spend more time uh, in the room to, to, examine, uh, to, to discuss the, the research result. Um, but our colleagues from epidemiology groups, I think that they went out to even meet uh, uh, the community members, uh, to talk uh, about the experience of these people during this difficult time. Uh, uh, so, 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 I mean, yes, this activity has been quite diverse across the groups uh, of the mission.